over here you can see that I have an image right here which is not straight. And if you want to straighten this out, then you can go around onto the left side right here and use the straighten tool, which is this tool right here. So all you need to do is you can go around and then click and drag around the line right here um, uh, onto a straight line right here, which you want to take as a reference. So once you do that, what happens is that it'll analyze out the picture and will straighten it out. And you can see that it is already filling out the uh, as it's right here. So when uh, the image actually rotates, then there will be gaps. So it is going around and using artificial intelligence right here to fill out those gaps right here. And you can see that the image has straightened. So here you can see that you can maintain out the image size right here. But what you can also do is maintain canvas size. And here you can see autofill as it is here. You can also go around and turn this off. So I'm just going to turn this off and press Ctrl Z to go back to default right here. And I'm going to maintain image size. And right now, autofill as is, is turned off. So once that is turned off, what happens is that if I were to use the straighten tool right here, then you can see that the canvas size remains the same. The image has straightened, but you don't get the autofill right here. So autofill is not always great because it might produce artifacts as it is generating out um, contents that is not originally there. You can also go around. Uh, let me just go around and press, uh, let's say, for example, Control Z right here to go back and undo it right here undo the straighten tool. And then I'm going to maintain the canvas size now. So you can maintain the image size or the canvas size, as you can see. So if I were to go around and use the straighten tool right here, then it'll manage out the canvas size itself. Everything else gets cropped, as you can see, so that the image does not resize. And this is what you have. So that is how you can go around and use the straighten tool inside of Adobe Photoshop Elements. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.